Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to basically just show you how to use the simple Salesforce bulk API. So most of the times you can probably get by using the standard uh, query API uh, to retrieve or if you want, you can uh, basically to create uh, records using as well as the standard API uh, to do that. But what happens if you have a large volume of data, uh, either you, know, you are trying to retrieve like let's say 10,000 records from Salesforce, or you want to uh, create 10,000 records to object. In that case, it's going to take a much longer time to use the standard uh, API to either query or create records. So this way, the bulk API becomes a better choice. And the Salesforce bulk API lets you to create a large realm of records and as well as inserting and updating a massive records in a much more efficient manner. If you want to know more information about which API to use under uh, which circumstance, I have included the link to the article, which API do I use uh, in the video description. And let's go ahead and uh, so let me show you how to use the, the, the simple Salesforce bulk API. So first off, I'm going to uh, just basically import the, uh, the module. And here I'm going to import the uh, the pandas module and the simple Salesforce uh, module. So here I'm going to import the Salesforce class and the Salesforce login class. And I'm going to insert my uh, JSON library. So here I just store my uh, login information to a, a JSON file. So I'm going to load the, the my uh, login credential. Here is my uh, JSON login file. And, okay. and here I'm going to create my uh, login variables. So the username and password. As well as my uh, security token. And if we, um, so it's optional. So if your uh, IP address is already list on this, uh, on the secure IP list, then you probably don't need the security token and the same box. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. So here I'm going to create a uh, session ID variable and the instance variable. And here I'm going to use the Salesforce login function to log in. And I'm going to provide the username, password, and the for the security token. I'm going to assign the token variable. And for the sandbox, I'm going to assign the sandbox variable. And next, I'm going to create my Salesforce uh, class variable. Oops. And for the instance property, I'm going to assign the instance instance variable. And for the session ID uh, parameter, I'm going to assign the session ID parameter. So now if I just run the, uh, the script, and it's running right now. It uh, doesn't seem like there's a typo somewhere. Oh, I know why. So I forgot the single quotation. So let me just try again. Okay, so if you don't get any error, that means that you're able to log in successfully. And once you're logging and, and once you create the uh, Salesforce class variable, and now we can basically uh, start using the API. And to start using the simple Salesforce bulk API to create records, let's say I want to create uh, records from my account object. And what I want to do is I want to type the uh, SF class variable in that book. So that's mean, that just means that I want to uh, use the book API method. So here uh, I already have the the, uh, the method description. So the book indicating that I want to use the book API request handle. And next you want to uh, type the object API name. So since I want to create from the account object, so I'll type the accounts uh, object API name. 
And uh, so here we have uh, different options. So we can either delete records. Uh, so how do you mean that uh, when you delete records, those records will not go onto the uh, recycle bin. So it will get uh, delete completely. But if you use the delete method, and at least you know, if you delete records by accident, you can still go to the recycle bin and uh, retrieve the records. So here I want to use the record, uh, the query function or method. So it should be method, not function. And here I'm going to basically uh, provide these uh, Salesforce circle query. And here I want to select ID and maybe I'll get the name from uh, account. And since I'm using the developer edition, so I have three limits uh, storage. And I don't have that many records like you know, the standard Salesforce. So here I'm going to just limit my records to just 10 records. So I'm going to uh, let's do this. So I'm going to assign the output to a variable. So query output. And then I'm going to uh, basically just print the uh, query output variable. And now if I just save and run the, the script, And here's the the, uh, the output. So here we have the attribute uh, column. And so let me do this. So this uh, not easy to, to view. So I'm going to use the panda data frame method to convert on the, the output into a tab uh, table uh, format. All right, okay. Uh, Give me one second. Oh, so I know why. Uh, so my display option is not uh, set properly right now. So let's do this. So, uh, so, uh, so I can basically I'm going to grab all the rows and as well as all, all the columns. So let's see if this will uh, return the, let's see, uh, there's no attribute. Huh, which is oh sorry uh here and let me try again so if not then i will basically uh set the display option okay so i guess i have to set the display option okay, i'm going to uh set the max columns to let's do uh i just need 10 so less than 10 and here should be set display set option not display uh set option and display max columns cool again let me try again uh, so now this time we should get the result of properly uh, format so here um here's the the, the data frame output so we, we have the id uh, column name column as well as the attribute column. So, uh, I don't, so I usually uh, ignore the attributes uh, column since, uh, I mean, the information uh, inside the attribute column is not anything useful. So here I will just basically ignore the last, the last column. And there you go. And I'll basically, uh, display all the columns based on your uh, your circle statement. And that's for how you create the records using the uh, bulk API. Now, what happens if you want to create records? I say more importantly, we generally use the bulk API to uh, update or create records. So let me comment these two, uh, these two lines. So if you have a, a CFC file, and the file is called Paja uh, underscore data. And let me open the just, just the CSV file. So here I'm gonna have three records. And like I said, uh, the developer edition doesn't have very uh, large volume of storage. But regardless, you know, the, uh, the step to use the uh, bulk API is the same. So let me close this. So I'm going to, actually I'm going to, um, use the CSV file. So this is going to be my record holder. And I'm going to uh, write a script 
basically to load the, the data from the project data.csv onto the, uh, I have a uh, object called uh, project's object. I'm going to load the CSV file uh, onto the, the project object. So let me close the Excel, the CSV file. And right now I don't have any records in my uh, project's object. <clears throat> and to uh, do an inserting uh, execution using the book API. So assuming uh, you're trying to load, let's say, uh, 50,000 records or maybe even more. And here I'm going to basically, I'm going to uh, import the, the data from the CSV file. So here I'm using the panda CSV method and followed by I'll provide the, the file name. So here I'm going to create empty uh, list variable. So I'm going to call this uh, variable book data. And this is going to be a uh, data holder. So here I'm going to iterate uh, each record uh, from the load data data frame. So for row in load data data frame. And I'm going to use the uh, iterate to post uh, method. And here I'm going to store, uh, so each record is also dictionary uh, JSON data type. And so there's a, a method called underscore AS DICT. And just convert the panda series in onto the, the old dictionary object. So let me, let me do this. So I'm, I'm going to show you what the, uh, the, the, the data looks like. So if, if I just uh, save and run the, the script, you see that the using the underscore AS dix uh, method, and we're, we're able to convert the, the uh, I guess the data information as a uh, dictionary object. And since we only want the, the names and the priority uh, column, we don't need the index. So I'm going to basically delete the index key. And once that's done, I can uh, append the, the dictionary record to the bulk data uh, list variable. And once that's finished, so I can use the uh, book, sf.book. My uh, project API name is project underscore underscore uh, C. And here I'm going to use the insert method to, and followed by I'll provide the, the book data variable. Okay, now if I just save it around the script, And because I don't have a lot of data, so that's why uh, the job is able to complete um, uh, this quickly. And now uh, if I go back to Salesforce and just refresh the page. And now uh, I get three new records from the from the, uh, the, the book API execution. If you want to basically do an update, uh, the step the same, except that here you will, uh, instead of using the insert method, you will use the update and that's it. So this is everything I want to uh, go over about using the uh, simple Salesforce book API and pretty easy to use uh, to be honest. So it's not something very uh, complicated. So I hope this video is useful and if you like my video, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon. Bye bye.